It is 637 new on Good Morning Tucson. A 911 dispatcher who has helped Northwest District crews for years is still recovering herself from a bad accident, but she is finding peace through baking. Brooke Chow is here with us now. Brooke, she really had no choice but to embrace the calm over the chaos to find this new passion. Yes, exactly. From being a fire dispatcher for nearly two decades to finding something new in the kitchen. Lisa Medich's story proves that she's one tough cookie. Take a look. Looking back on April 23rd, 2022, a day that dramatically changed Lisa Medich's life. It was like just a really busy day. Um, I'm not even sure what it exactly made me pass out, but I just passed out, hit the corner of granite. She doesn't remember much from that day, but she recalls a fall in her bathroom causing her to hit her head. Um, I remember waking up and seeing blood and somehow I got my phone. It must have fallen on the floor with me. I don't even remember finding it, but I grabbed it and I was like, well, why? Where's this blood coming from? So I took a picture of my head. It's okay. I'm just going to go to bed and sleep it off. She slept for three days and when she woke up, her memory was blurry. A year and a half later, Lisa still feels the effects of her fall. A lot of headaches, dizziness, nausea, uh, brain fog. Her husband, a firefighter she used to dispatch daily, had to tell her boss that she wouldn't be able to come in for a bit. Yeah, I, at first when, when all this happened, I thought, oh man, what am I going to do? I don't have my job. It was a hard pill to swallow for Lisa after spending so many years in her job. They decided last December that they couldn't hold my position for me anymore. They said that I'd be welcome back to um, interview again for the position, but I'd rather do this. <laughs> Smile says it all. Finding a new hobby in the kitchen. Baking custom desserts, everything from cookies and cakes. Lisa found a special way to heal. From the nonstop life of a dispatcher, she now enjoys the calming world of her kitchen. Losing something I thought was going to be a huge part of the rest of my life became something better. Now, in my conversation with Lisa, we talked about the benefits baking has really had on her journey through recovery. She's able to take on as big or as little of a task as she wants by still connecting with our community like she's always done. Guys. Brooke, that's really incredible. I mean, it's so glad that she's, you know, on a road to recovery. Yeah. So. Uh, did doctors ever figure out, though, exactly what happened to her? No, and that's the scary thing. It was just a freak accident coming home from work one day. I'm sure you can imagine being a 911 dispatcher is a chaotic life. So when you hit your head like that, it's this really scary situation. So a year and a half later, she still has some of those side effects like she talked about, dizziness, brain fog, things like that. But she's doing better, as you could see in her kitchen right here. And it just goes to show you that your life could change in just an instant. So don't take today for granted. Yeah, absolutely. An important lesson there, but I mean, she's a very talented baker. Yeah, I'm glad she found that passion. So uh, we're seeing the results ourselves, Brooke. Uh, if, you know, she can get more people, uh, you know, asking her to, you know, take on these small and big projects that's helping her out and people get to try something in our community too. That's great. Exactly. Yeah. Brooke, thank you.